In this class, we are going to learn how to populate the table component in Visual Builder application with the help of ADP variable. In our previous class, we had seen how to create a ADP variable wherein we have created a page listener event on the VB enter that is while loading the page, it will make a call to employees rest API and it will fetch the details and populate the data in the ADP variable which we created. First, we created the ADP type, then we created the ADP variable. Then we are assigning that over here and the same variable I am going to make use and represent the data in the table. We are going to learn how we can make use of array data provider type of variable. In order to proceed, first of all, we need to create a type for creating a ADP. This should be of type object. Now I will make use of endpoint over here. You can make use of the services or the service connection or business object REST APIs for creating from endpoint any type. So I will create the type of this employee. Click on next. From here, I will have all the items whatever are present within these items. Let me select hire date ID job last name updated by manager phone number salary those things and we can name the type as per our convenience. Now here I will write as get employees type and click on finish. One thing to make sure when we are creating a type in order to consume it from the array data provider kind of variable, we should have an object. We shouldn't have an array because ADP itself will create an array of objects. Now, in order to modify this, we have to go to JSON over here. Here, we need to search for the type which we have created. It's over here. Get all employee. Sorry, it is over here. Get employee type. Now, here we need to get rid of these items. I am removing everything. Just we need to have this employee type object. Switch over to the types. Here if you see we are having the fields within this type. That is this will be of type object. Now we are good to create the ADP variable. Let me create a variable over here. With name we get employee ADP where. This should be of type ADP. We have to select the array data provider. Click on create. Scroll down. We need to select the type which we have created just now. That is get employees type. Just about. Next, what is our key attribute? We can provide the ID as our key attribute. In the filter criteria, we can give the option to search based on the first name, last name, as well as based on email address. Done. We are done with this. Now switch over to the page designer. Next is we need to populate the ADP variable with the value from the REST API. In the case of SDP, when the user clicks on the arrow button or when the list of value appears at that time, it will fire the REST API, fetch the response and it will display. But in the case of ADP, we have to explicitly call the REST APIs. So we can populate the ADP variable that is when the page loads. Now I will create a listener over here, event listener and I will try to populate the value in the ADP variable when the page loads. So I will create an event listener of type VB enter. Select this, click on next, create a page chain. Here I will name it as populate employee ADP. Okay, click on finish. Now we can directly go to the action chain from here, from the event listener itself. I'm not going to name the action chain or any activities over here. I will go ahead with the default names, whatever. Oracle creates for us when we drag and drop the actions over here. First element what we need to drop over here is the call rest. I am dropping the call rest. We need to select the endpoint. If you have created the service connection, it will list over here. In my case, we don't have only we are having a business object. I am selecting one of the business object that is employee. Select this. In the request, if you want to pass anything, you can pass like the query parameter on the data offset limits and so forth things. And in the response, we can assign the response what we get from this API to the variable of type ADP what we created. Click on this assign. Our ADP is over here and it will create an array of type data. And within that, we are having a number of fields which we created. Now we need to expand the response. Expand the response, expand the body. Here we will have this items array. We have to map to data. 
one thing we need to make sure is we are emptying the variable that is adp variable before reassigning so this we need to make sure click on save this we are done go to the page designer now first of all i will drag and drop the table let me switch over to the design view search for the table over here it's over here drag and drop it over here done next go to the data go to fx drag this adp and drop it over here click on save next we need to add the table columns click on this and select job id first name email address and the manager name done just tab out now what we can do is we can go to the live mode and click on this refresh because we are going to make a call to rest api and populate the adp variable on the page load that is with the help of vb enter event listener here if you see we are making a call to api only once and we are populating the table over here as well as the list of values so like this we can minimize the number of calls which are being made to the back end and we can save the cost because all the outgoing traffic will incur a cost. In our next class, we will learn how to populate the details with the help of SDP.